In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Handbrake, a very simple, free to use and reshare software to compress your videos to very small size without you losing the quality. The quality when compared with the original quality is approximately the same and it's going to reduce it from maybe five gig to about 200 or 250 megabyte. You can do that. So, and you can compress multiple videos. I've done a tutorial on how to compress simple videos, but in this tutorial, I'm going to compress multiple videos at the same time, right? So to start with, all you need is just to come to your browser and just type in Google and you can just search for Handbrake. Okay, just like the way you hear handbrake, not the one with the car, okay, open source video transcorder. So you can just click on the first one or you can go to handbrake.fr and it's still going to bring you over to this very platform. So they've done the latest version. This is the latest version as at the time of this recording, version 1.7.2. And you can go ahead and download for your own operating system regardless. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. But for this, I'm going to download the Mac version and I'm just going to install on my system. So I have downloaded and let's say I've installed. We can go ahead and try it. Okay, so once you open Handbrake, you'll be brought into this very platform. In fact, it will prompt you that you can import the videos that you want to import from here. Now, this is the platform. Just cancel this. You can just go ahead and start uh, open the source. You can click to bring in any video that you want to compress. So for example, let's go with this adding text. You can see the size 292 megabyte. It's going to compress it to something very, very small. So let's say open to this and it is going to load this particular video in the platform. Now you have the summary of all of the features about this particular media that we've just uh, imported. You can see it's a H.264 X264 30 frame per second AAC co audio, okay, stereo or audio. This is the properties that we have and it's MP4. You can just go ahead and check out the other dimensions if you want, but I don't check anything here. The filters, I don't worry anything here. The only tab that I worry about is the video tab, which is where I touch the quality. And this quality, I just change it. If you increase this, it's going to reduce. The further you go, the more the size of the video output and then the higher the quality but then when you go down a little bit it's going to reduce the quality a little bit but then without you losing much of it so i usually go as far as 22 okay 22 is my optimum i used to find the best result at 22 and the higher the quality the higher the size and you can see the description over here constant quality varies betrays to ensure visual quality remains relatively consistent throughout the video so adjust the quality slider to the right to increase quality or to the left to decrease quality in small increments of plus or minus one to two okay so it's very very easy and it's very simple so this is the only thing i change if everything i keep at default the video encoder version the frame rate i don't change anything the audio i keep everything at default uh, the subtitles i don't add except if you have anything the only most important part is the video section which is the video quality okay so the next thing i do is i have to define the location where i want this my output video uh, to be saved in so i want to save it in this handbrake or you can create another folder you can say handbrake results for example and i want to save it here so everything that i want to compress is going to be saved here so i can choose this location and the location has been defined so if i want to uh, compress multiple videos what i need to do is to add this to the queue so you can see right now i've added it to the queue you can see it from here this is the queue and you can be able to preview the video if you want or you can check presets if you have any presets and then your activity can be visualized from here all of your activities what you've done in handbrake you can visualize it from here now you can add multiple clips for example you can come to source and just go ahead and add another video for example i have this add audio, adding audio and select once it imports it it's automatically going to be saved in this directory that i have defined the handbrake results so i can just go ahead and add it to the queue right now you see we have two results on the queue so if you want to add more you can keep on adding you can add as many as you want let's say we add this last one the b rolls so you can just click on open and it's going to load it and then we can directly add it to our queue okay so you add it to the queue so once you're done adding all the videos on the queue you can go ahead and say start the queue from here you can start the queue and pause the queue if you want or you can come over here click on the queue and you'll be able to see 
the videos that you have added on the queue okay you're free to remove any video that you don't want to add from the queue you can just use on hit on this x sign to remove it and you can see all the video details that you have and you can equally start the queue from here once you hit on the start you can see right now it has started the encoding okay encoding pending so you can see the one that is compressing and the one that is next okay so you're free to stop or to pause and at any given point you can always visit the queue to be able to see what is left and what you have compressed so at the end of it all you can navigate to that particular location and you'll be able to see the videos that you've compressed you'll be able to see them at that location in terms of quality it's nearly the same okay? no much difference as regards the quality from what we have and what the output so let me try to play one so let's take a look at this adding subtitle Let's play it. In this class, we're going to learn how to add subtitles within your video clips in the interest. Now, this is the normal one. Let me show you the compressed one. So let's look at adding subtitles. So this is the compressed one. Take a look. In this class, we're going to learn how to add nothing no even visible difference so you can see how powerful this software is it can compress your video without losing the quality and let's look at the sizing okay size of the compressed versus the uncompressed okay so this is 14 megabyte you can see how small it is this is just 14 megabyte so let's see the uncompressed one so you can see it's about 111 megabyte. So this is really, really fantastic. So you can go ahead and give it a try. Pick up any video of your choice and try to see how you can use this software to compress it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This concludes this tutorial on how to use Handbrake to compress your video into smaller sizes without losing quality. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to keep enjoying videos like this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.